This video is brought to you by Robinhood, the investment brokerage app that lets you buy stocks, ETFs, and crypto all commission free. Did you know since the start of the March stock market crash, over 800,000 new brokerage accounts have been created and buying stocks was the third most popular thing that people spent their stimulus checks on. I know I did. So stop missing out and use the link in the description below. Get your free stock just for signing up. No deposit required. And finally, this is my real portfolio. What's up YouTube? Capital G here. Here got some of the spiciest and most legendary Crusadia cheese you will ever see on this channel. You guys know I'm a fan of Crusadia, and for the most part, Crusadia breaks down into two different builds. Either you're going first, usually using the guard dragons and trying to make a bunch of negations, or you're going second and you're trying to one-shot your opponent with the Crusadia Equimax. What if I told you there is a newly discovered build of Crusadia that does some incredible explosive things it's probably the most volatile build i have personally seen but when it goes off it's absolutely beautiful so this is the newly discovered third version of crusadia and um it's a little bit of side a and side b he's playing against plunder patrol in this first duel and plunder patrol is uh it's a deck that can make a pretty decent turn one i still think maybe it should be a blind second depth because summoning purple sailboat list is pretty much all you're going to do turn one maybe you make yourself a black beard which can turn into the black sailboat or the white sailboat it's like all good but we know that crusadia is a deck that historically plays a lot of kaijus and this build plays kaiju so you don't really play a ton of hand traps if your opponent puts up negations you're looking to break their board with the kaiju so use the game it's on the list Take that card out. Looks like he's targeting his opponent's uh, white beard. So, or excuse me, black beard. He's going to obviously tag it out. I think, yeah, it's unfortunate. The only thing he can actually tag into, he can only tag in the brand, white sailboat. So he can only tag into the one that gets rid of back row. That's what he's going to go for. I think that black sailboat would have been a better option, but that just wasn't an option that he had on the table. Anyways, it looks like a, a Crusadia guard dragon build, right? You're like, oh, Cap, we've seen this a thousand times. He's just going to go into some Crusadia Guard Dragon plays. But don't worry, it's going to get spicy. Now, the Crusadia Guard Dragon build still use Saryuja Skull Dread. The Blind Go Second builds, they don't ever summon this card. They don't use it. They basically go to uh, Maximus, or excuse me, they go to Equimax, and then they just try to one-shot you with Maximus. They don't use this card anymore. But the other builds that play Kaijus, they, they can summon Gamma Seal and other stuff. Even Nibiru, which you guys will actually see, with the um, you know copies of Saryuja Skull Dread. And you're going to see, of course, since it's a guard dragon deck, you are going to be able to make a very big board using dragon monsters. Actually, going to use the Buster Blader link, but this is what the spice is. So, you basically are looking to make you're basically trying to load the board up with as many big monsters as possible. And keep in mind, you are playing kaiju, so it's very easy to kaiju your opponent, then have a kaiju yourself, or to use slumber and kind of force a bunch of big monsters on the board. And then you're going to make Predator Plant Verde Anaconda, and you're going to summon the spice that makes this all possible. So we ain't even going to use no battle phase. What we're going to do, and you saw he summoned the other Kaiju just to have more <laughs> monsters on the board. We're going to pay 2,000 life points, and this is for, this is not for the faint of heart, by the way. You're going to actually summon Time Magnus, which formerly was Time Magician, I believe. And yeah, what well, used to be Time Magician, but now it's CCG name apparently is Time Magnus. And what happens is you nuke the entire board and you pray to goodness that you call it right because if you call it right you're gonna end up winning the duel he ends up calling it right and boom almost 10,000 damage because even though people are like oh come on cap g instant fusion is still limited to one never forget guys we still got that crazy broken preda plant verde anaconda in the tcg which uh it's limited in the ocg but like what does it matter if it's limited you, you only need to play one anyways we basically have a way of proxy summoning it so we don't even have to worry about getting our instant fusion and obviously if you hard draw instant fusion then you can just go ahead and activate it anyway second tool Blackwing player. Uh, this is a pretty terrible Blackwing play. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's cute that you got the uh, the Wind Barrier statue on field, but you should be doing a little more than that. Uh, another reason that this combo is pretty cool is that you, you can basically kill your opponent without using the battle phase. We saw him do 10,000 damage. So even if you wanted to use something 
like you wanted to make this a blind go second deck and you wanted to you know maybe use an evenly match or something like that you'd still have the potential of killing your opponent in main phase two now the obvious downside and i'm just you know i'm gonna let you guys know just for those of you who want to try this deck is the fact that it's a 50 percent chance that you lose the duel if you do that type of battle damage where you're doing or excuse me effect damage if you're doing that high of effect damage where you're over eight thousand if you get the wrong coin sauce you actually lose i think that this is actually very similar to arcana force the world though where if you get it off you're probably going to win with the world and if you don't get it off then you're almost certainly going to lose this is basically the same thing the only difference is one way or another someone's going to lose the duel when that effect damage actually comes down so you can see he's loading up his board and he's pretty much going for the same play you see that he forced a lot of powerful monsters on his opponent's side of the field and actually his opponent kind of took a little bit of the bait he actually gave him a radion and his opponent used radion to get a uh, to get the Radeon token. So this just means even more likely that the damage of Time Magnus will actually be game. You see that uh, he ends up <laughs> killing himself <laughs> unfortunately see that that's the luck that's the luck of i can't say the luck of the draw or the luck of the roll it's the luck of the flip I, I guess that's a thing so you can see there is a downside if you do happen to you know get a tails you're going to lose now i think that maybe you could probably try to circumvent this with uh what's that card second coin toss if i'm not mistaken yeah second coin toss is like one of those cards that if you flip a coin and you get an undesirable result it does allow you to get you know basically another coin toss but just understand with this build it's basically it's basically like um i guess a desperation win condition because you are still playing crusadia guard dragons if you do go first and you're unopposed you can definitely make a board of full of strong negates and this build also gives you the ability because you're playing a lot of the crusadia monsters to potentially one shot your opponent now you can see in this duel once again Blackwing player, just turn one, you know, kind of summoned the wind barrier statue and just said, all right, you can't break this. Not really that difficult for the, for the Crusadia deck, considering they've got a lot of normal summon monsters. All the Crusadia monsters can be normal summon. But yeah, going for the same play here, going to give our opponent a Radeon, basically forcing big monsters because blowing up um, a Jackalope isn't that much damage. But when you turn that Jackalope into a 2800 attack, you know, Radeon, then the damage becomes a lot higher. Plus, when you get more counters on waterfront it makes it easier to kaiju your opponent and then search a kaiju for you to summon which of course makes it so that you get that damage to you know over eight thousand. but yeah just be careful about this because 50 percent chance that you actually end up losing when you resolve the effect that time he was lucky he gets a heads boom 8600 damage to his opponent's face obviously I got to tell you, this is not going to be something that's like highly competitive for anybody. He's like, Cap G says, this is the next tier. I'm not saying this is tier zero. If anything, this is more of uh, like table 500. But I do think like if, if I was at an event, guys, would I, would I, if I was playing this build, would I consider just going ahead and playing Verde Anaconda and playing the Time Magnus when we, when we, I guess, whenever it is we get this card? Absolutely. Because to me, I think if you're in situations where you are very unlikely to win, but you do have this as your back option or you have this kind of in your back pocket, like really what do you have to lose? That's, that's another thing that makes this play kind of dank is the upside, even though the downside obviously is losing and it's 50-50, if you're in a duel where you're getting crushed and you probably shouldn't win, being able to turn any two monsters or your instant fusion hard draw into time Magnus and potentially just be able to steal a win, it's totally worth it in my opinion. You're only playing one card essentially, uh, well, one one card in the extra deck and then one card in the main deck to basically open this up and be kind of like a cheeky little win condition but you guys can see that this build is more tailored to being like a crusadia guard dragon build obviously you see some of the monsters that have disruptions that you can make turn one you see your Appaloosas and your fa don dragsters because you do have a uh, the ability to synchro summon in this deck you've got your heretic seal of uh, heavenly spears another disruption that you can throw at your opponent and then since this is the um 
the Gar Dragon build that does run Kyoto Waterfront. You, of course, get the ability to summon Gamasil, which to me has always been one of the more scary negation cards because it not only negates the card, but then it also banishes. And if you're going second and you're, you know, you're, you're looking to break boards, you've got your main power hand trap being the Beru, and then you just have all the Kaijus to try to break your opponent's board. The Kaijus, of course, secondary, you know, purpose is to basically do or basically make it so that Time Magnus does even more magic or does even more damage. But of course, you also have like the Interrupted Slumber, another way that, you know what, even if this card gets negated, it's perfectly fine because in your next turn, you're going to get a Kaiju anyways. Assuming your opponent doesn't just kill you, you basically just get a Kaiju for free. So to me, this is definitely one of the dankest builds of Crusadia that can kind of go first, kind of go second, has a super cheeky cheese win condition that does have a 50% chance of probably losing you the duel, but 50-50 <laughs> odds, that's good enough for me. Anyways, if you guys are interested, of course, in downloading the build, it, it will be in the description below. Thank you guys so much. Watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already, and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.